in the Jannah or in the Hafa, there is no evening and morning. Just like Barakallah Fikum, that the shade in the Jannah is a eternal shade. It is not a temporal shade or a temporary, temporary shade. Unlike this dunya, that the shade is always what? Temporal. It's always temporal. Right? You go by this, uh, in the evening the shade is on the other side. Right? In the, in the, in the morning the shade is on the other side. But Amma the Jannah, uh, the dhillu is da'im. The, the shade of the Jannah is permanent. As Al-Mufassir, Al-Adwa Al-Bayan has mentioned in his tafsir in Surah Al-Nisa when he was explaining that verse. So he mentioned Barakallahu Fikum and he say and wayawma taqumu as-sa'a and the day that the hour will be established wayawma taqumu as-sa'a in the day that the hour will be established it will be say adkhilu ala fir'aun ashadd al-'adhab it will be say enter the people of fir'aun from the most severe punishment meaning the hellfire so the first punishment that was talked about that they will be displayed to the half fire day and night will be it was what the, in the grave and when the hour will be established it will be said to them adkhilu ala fir'aun ashadd al-'adhab Shaykh Uthaymi rahimahullah he say why was it the statement men, mentioned ala fir'aun the people of fir'aun that shows that Fir'aun will be the first one to be going in the half fire from his group. That shows that Fir'aun will be the first one to be entering the half fire from his group. The Shah of Zahurullah he mentioned, he said, فَفِرْعَوْنَ وَقَوْمُهُ كَذَلِكَ سَائِرُ الْكُفَّارِ يُعْرِضُونَ عَلَى النَّارِ غُدُوًا وَعَشِيًّا He said, likewise, Fir'aun and his people, and likewise, the remaining of the disbelievers, that they will be displayed, or the how fire will be displayed to them, evening, I mean morning and evening. And they say, Hada adabul barzakh. And this is the punishment of the barzakh. And what is the barzakh? The barzakh is the waiting, quote unquote, for explanation. Let's say you say the waiting room of the, of the hereafter. The waiting room of the hereafter. Understanding like this. The barzakh is the mawqi'ah. Bayna dunya wal akhirah. It is the place between the, this life and the hereafter. That's what you call the barzakh. This is what you call the barzakh. And the barzakh, barakallahu fikum. It is also the alamul arwah. It is the places of the soul. So this is when in this punishment... That it is the soul that is likely to be barakallahu fikum feeling the pain rather than the body. Tayyip. Thumma atafa alayhi adabu yawm al qiyam. And then they will be assigned yawm al qiyam to the hellfire, to the punishment of the hellfire. When Allah Jalla mentioned, wa yawma taqoomu sa'atu adkhilu ala fir'awna ashadd al adab. And Yawm al Qiyamati, when the hour will be established, it will be said to the people of Fir'aun to enter, enter the people of Fir'aun, Ashad al Adab, from the most severe torment of punishment. Ila ayat al Ukhra, to feed Uhada, and also you have other verses that come to support the existence of the punishment of the grave. وورد فيها في عذاب القبر عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في صحيحين and also on the what has been reported by Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim on the two books of Sahih and as the ulama mentioned that the most authentic books after the book of Allah the most authentic book after the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that has been written is Sahih al-Bukhari 
ان صحيح المسلم صحيح البخاري ان صحيح المسلم ان صحيح الم... ان امام بخاري was the teacher the major teacher of imam muslim anybody remember the name of imam bukhari the name of imam bukhari yes barakallahu fi very good abdul jalil i will make you some tea after the class very good barakallahu fi very good man ahsanta may allah raise your rank and may you be a scholar in the deen and go back to your country and teach the people the truth and revive the sunnah in there amen this is joyful alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i want an adult to give me the name of imam muslim imam muslim adult not you abdullah adult sahib al lihya i should say ashab al lihya imam muslim we can have the kids beating us every day in the soccer and in the here ha naam muslim bin hijaz muslim bin You know my favorite word Aba Musa We say Imam Muslim name every day Every day we hear Imam Muslim We hear every Imam Bukhari every day don't we we do we do At least here we hear Imam Bukhari every day Right We hear Imam Muslim every day Tomorrow is Monday Inshallah Taala not written down memorized Imam Muslim name not memor not written down but rather memorize tomorrow inshallah taala and i will pick randomly who to ask abdullah right i will pick randomly where is abu zura i will pick randomly right i will pick randomly in my muslim name please tayyib so the shah hafizahullah he say in other ahadith in regard to the establishment of the punishment of the grave to affirm the punishment of the grave from the hadith of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam now listen to this hadith barakallahu fikum there are a great amount of lesson that we should derive from this and a great amount of rectification in ourselves that we have to rectify if this hadith doesn't suffice you to rectify these matters then nothing will suffice you مر على قبرين one day the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed by two graves one day the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed by two graves وقال ان هي سيد جزاك الله خير وقال ان هي سيد innahuma these two graves yu'adhibani they are being tortured meaning these individual in this grave they are being tortured so that is number one affirming what the the punishment of the grave so far right he say inna huma yu'adhibani they are being punished how would the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam pass by the grave and say that these two graves are being punished how except that he received the revelation from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except that he received the revelation from allah he is not talking because he know what is in the ground what he knows what is the ghaib la He is only talking wama yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha he is only giving the revelation that he got from allah as one of the condition of la ilaha illa allah of muhammad rasulullah is that as the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned shouldn't you trust in me 
wa ana aminun miman fi sama ya'tini khabar as-sama'i sabahan wa masa'an shouldn't you trust me while i'm the one trusted by the one that is in the heavens meaning above the heavens and he said ya'tini above the heavens ya'tini it comes to me it reach me the akhbar or the khabar as-sama' the news from the from the heavens masa'an sabahan wa masa'an in the morning and in the evening so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passing by the grave these two graves and he say wa innahuma layu'adhiban that these two graves they are being tortured and he mentioned wa ma yu'adhibani fi kabirin wa ma yu'adhibani fi kabirin and they deem that they are not being tortured for something that is major they don't they deem that they are not being tortured for something that is major qala bala innahu kabir and the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he say indeed it is something that is major them they thought that was not major but it is indeed major that is out resulting for them to be punished in the hell fire in the in the grave amma ahaduhuma aw amma ahaduhuma as number one of them fa kana yamshi bin namima fa kana yamshi bin namima he was a person that was a a huh? tear tear tell a teller as the kids will say right the kids will say tell a teller he was a carry teller he was a person that will come to muhammad tell him hey abu abu uh, fatima say you this and this and this you go to abu fatima tell him muhammad say you this and this and this so to the point that these two when they meet the first thing they will do is fight and how many people are like this how many people are like this akhi do not let nobody come to you about the brother that you know about don't let nobody come to you about a brother that you only know good about him don't let nobody come to you about a sister that all you know about her is good don't let nobody come bring their issues and make your heart to be sick in regard to having issue with another muslim some people they will not be happy except by way of that they won't be happy until they have a, they make a between a problem between two that never had no issues they will not rest their case until they will make a husband and a wife have issues they will not rest their case until they will make two core wives have issue go at it and this is something that is very well rampant in our society a man will have more than one wife let's say two or three wives and this one will come in the morning and talk to this first wife about this about that about the second wife in the afternoon she will come to the second wife and say this and this and this about the first wife now the house will never be at peace and the man will never be at peace why because of someone yamshi bin namima someone that is going around spreading barakallahu fikum yani hatred and spreading that which barakallahu fikum will only lead to what to evil feeling to evil vibes in the house wal iyadhu billah so we must recognize those individuals are among us if a person come to you about an individual tell him listen if you come to me one more time about this situation let's go to the brother and you say it right in his face simple as that akhi the brother he say this is an, this and that about you akhi listen next time you come that with that come on let's go to him you repeat it right in front of him you think he will come back again because whoever will come to you bring you news he will take news from you to someone else and after knowing who we have to come together we must barakallah